that kind of, you know, stabbed me in the heart a little bit. Yoga. What's going on, Kimbo? It is Thursday, and this is probably my first official full vlog since I've been on my creator break. So, what's going on? Um, I'm actually excited because today, right now, I'm actually in Chicago. I just got, I just, I'm just now driving in and I'm going to see my dad. This is the first time in over a year that I've seen my dad. Um, the last time I saw him was January of 2020. So before all the COVID stuff happened, um, was the last time that I have seen him and he's been through a lot since then um battling cancer things like that he's doing really really well thank you guys for your continued prayers they mean the world to me um yeah so i'm really looking forward to spending some time with him and seeing him healthy again because the last time i saw him he was not doing well well yeah i know he wasn't doing as well um so it'll be really nice to see him more like himself um, also, I'm excited because Kareen is in town. I don't know if she's here yet. I'm not sure. She's with um, Daniel and the kids. But for those of you who just, you know, joined my family, Daniel is Kareen. Kareen is my sister. Daniel is Kareen's husband. And then she's got two kids, Olivia and Julian. So I am so excited to see all of them. It has been... Gosh, I think the last time I've seen them, I was in Switzerland in 29, 2018. Yeah, Christmas 2018, I was in Switzerland. I went twice in 2018, and the second time was over the holiday. And that was the last time I've seen her in person, I think. Yeah. So, it has been a very long time. And I've been in contact with her quite a bit. I work with her just a little. So I've been, you know, I've seen her, you know, every month I see her at least once on a Zoom call, but it's just not the same. So I'm really looking forward to some relaxed, chill family time. Um, my brothers didn't come. It was kind of a last minute thing. Um, Jason can't really take a lot of time off work, so I didn't want him to feel a lot of pressure. But um, Kareen is going to be coming back. She's actually moving to the States. She's not moving to Chicago, but she's going to be moving to the States. So I'm really, really excited that she's going to be a lot more accessible. It's going to be a lot cheaper to go visit. And yeah, it's just I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I love them. So I'm almost at my dad's house. I have probably like 20 more minutes, maybe 30 more minutes before I get there. But I wanted to pop in and say what's up. I don't know how he feels about me vlogging him. We'll, excuse me, play it by ear. I'm actually not sure how Kareen feels about it either now, since she's doing a lot of like racial trauma work. She's doing, her, her job has changed. So um, I'm not sure if she's gonna want to be on camera or not. I'm hoping that she will. But if she's not, then I'm just gonna respect that, of course. So we'll see, but I'm hoping I can take you guys with for a little bit of the journey. Um, anywho, I'm excited. It's good to be back. I miss you guys so much, I love you, and I will check in with you guys later once I settle in and figure out you know, what the plan is. Good morning, guys. It is Friday. And it feels like a Saturday. I kept feeling like it was a Saturday, but I'm up and I've got up. I woke up pretty early, um, but I laid in bed for a while, did some reading, you know, things like that. And now I'm up and out and I decided to go find a gym, get a free pass and hit the weights. So I'm here at Export Fitness. I've been to an export in Chicago before, but it's been like so many years. So <clears throat> I'm sure after so many years, they forget you visited. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna get, I got a free pass for seven days. So I'm probably gonna hit this gym um, while I'm here today and tomorrow, maybe Sunday, I don't know. I'm not sure when I'm going home yet. Um, and I'm gonna get a good workout in before Kareen gets here, so. 
well, Kareen and the kids and Daniel. So I am, I'm motivated, like I want to work out, but like part of me just does it. I'm feeling a little bit lazy, but I'm, but I, I have the energy. So I'm going to take advantage of it and I'm going to push through and I'm going to give me a good old workout because I'm making such great progress. I'm going to be in my deficit for, you know, 12 to 16 weeks max. And then um, see, reevaluate, take a diet break, and maybe get back in my deficit. Especially because like it's kind of hard to eat right now. I've just been, you know, so much change, transition, and I'm just not as hungry. So it's hard to like force so much food down. So I'm gonna uh, after I'm in this first deficit, I'm gonna take a diet break, and then um, probably get right back into a deficit until I reach my goal. We'll see. I'm just gonna reevaluate when that time comes. But right now, I just want to make sure that I, you know, because I wasn't able to work out as much this week. So that's what I'm doing. I just wanted to say hi um, and check in with you guys, and I will let you guys know how my workout went. Workout complete. Sorry for this little blurb right here. I don't know what that is. Let me try to get it off, actually. Anyway, uh, it was a good workout. I just did a little bit of back and I walked for like 20 minutes. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. So last night, why does it look so dark? Hold on. There we go. It might be a little bit better, I think. Anyway, so last night I spent some time with dad and Signe. It was actually really funny. My dad has to take medical marijuana. So um, that was fun. He was like, you want to hit? <laughs> So it was really funny. Me and Signy both took a little puff with him. He actually does not enjoy it, but, uh, and I don't smoke, but I was like, I'm gonna do this with my dad. These are gonna be funny memories. <laughs> um, but my dad is, you know, he's been doing really well. He's really positive, and he's been very, um, he just has a good perspective, but I think, like, he's not doing as he's not they said he's not doing great but he's doing good and that kind of you know stabbed me in the heart a little bit because i don't you know it's it's hard because like i don't want to start crying because God. like i know my dad is strong but my dad is 83 he's gonna be 84 this year and you know he's still battling Oh God, you know, this year has been hard for a lot of reasons, but I think that, you know, the stuff with my dad just makes it like extra hard, you know? Um, it's hard to see him like so weak. Like even at my, my workout today was a little bit challenging because my emotional energy is a little bit low. I'm just so grateful for this time that I do have to spend with him. Um, but you know, he's not doing great. Uh, he has a hard time eating, so getting enough calories in has been really challenging for him, which is why he is taking medical marijuana to increase his appetite, but he doesn't think it really works that much. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just gonna cherish every moment that I get to spend with him. God, I didn't expect to cry, I'm sorry. I just, I don't know, I've been really positive and I've been really like, like I can handle anything else. I can handle financial issues. I can handle, you know, relationships failing, but I don't want to lose my dad, you know? That I can't handle. But, you know, it is what it is and I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna cherish every moment that I have with him and um, I'm gonna try to come out here to see him more even if it's you know like I don't know, a day or you know whatever <sighs> so anywho yeah they he's still on chemo they've had like a couple of he's been on chemo for you know ever since he's had his um, colon cancer removed he's been on chemo because it did metastasize to his liver so he's got you know other cancer spots and things so they're trying to decrease those but it's like 
two other chemo that he two other kinds of chemo that he's tried didn't work he's on one now that I guess seems to be helping and sometimes I can't tell if they're just you know trying to be extra positive for me because he knows that I just can't handle it but I don't know you know guys life life is hard but you know you got to just take it as it comes and I'm trying you know not to think about it too much and like I said just try to you know live in the moment and enjoy every moment that I have without projecting into the future but I'd be lying if I said it doesn't scare me I'd be lying if I said that every time I get a phone call <laughs> I'm not afraid of what I'm gonna hear but I'm looking forward to today um, spending time with dad and um, Signe and Kareen and Daniel and the kids I'm looking forward to spending that time with them it's gonna be very meaningful and I'm excited about the day so I'm gonna go home I got the pies um, I got one for me one for dad and um, I'm gonna get in the shower and get ready and get myself together because it's gonna be a really really great day that I know it's gonna be a really good day so just wanted to update you guys thank you guys for your continued prayers if I would really appreciate if you guys just continued to pray I will I just want my dad to live as long as possible you know it's hard to hear him say things like if I you know I've lived a long life you know if I go I go and I'm happy with you know everyone's got to die I, I just I can't handle hearing stuff like that but he says it quite often so I know it's inevitable everybody loses their parents <sighs> okay I'm done talking about that anywho I love you guys and I will check in with you guys when I get myself together and get my makeup on after I'm done you know taking a shower and getting ready for the day what's going on Kim folk happy well what is today Wednesday the 21st or something like that it's been a a good day which I'm glad so I have been I'm working this week with Kareen she has this whole rooted and embodied like conference um I know boopy and I am helping her I'm doing some tech work I'm a tech host for some of the sessions so I just got done with a session with Resma Menachem you guys know I mean if you remember I've been, I was working with him a little bit doing some social media stuff for him and then you know he works with Kareen so doing some you know tech work for them in the past so that was really nice um, I'm feeling better after that and now I'm actually gonna get ready and uh, to pack some more things I didn't unpack I mean as you can see there's boxes everywhere since you know we broke up you know things kind of things basically moving into this place we had already kind of decided that we were gonna go our separate ways like right before that so um and then yeah so when we moved in here like we had no choice because we you know we signed the lease and whatnot um, we didn't really fully unpack because I wanted to I don't want to live in this place this place is it's not bad it's just not like it's just I don't know let me show you one of the reasons why I don't like it here I mean it's it's okay the energy is off but I don't know if it's just because of like I don't know I just don't really care for it here but look at this you see that this is one of the reasons why I don't like it here that my friends is a hole in the wall in the ceiling, I'm sorry, above the shower that literally pours water out. And that was smaller before. When it first started, I, I told Travis and he called maintenance and maintenance came and fixed it. He patched it basically. And I don't, obviously he didn't get to the root of it. It started dripping again at one point, but then it stopped for a little while. Then last night when I get home, there is literally water everywhere. Everywhere. I'm talking all over the floor, just splashing all over the place. 
<laughs> dripping from the ceiling. I'm like, what the heck? What is this? Like, this place is cool. Like, it's not bad. The neighborhood's not horrible. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's not horrible. But there's just, like, little things like that that are just, like, unacceptable. Like, fix the problem, you know? And then um, we live next door to, like, a bar. And, like, they literally blast their music till, like, 2, 3 in the morning. And even Iceton, when he came last weekend he was saying how he couldn't go to sleep because he, he was like talking about the music that was blasting it's like and then our neighbors blast like i i can't okay i'm so ready to leave i'm so ready to leave but yeah so i'm actually just gonna get ready I'm just getting ready to like pack up some things. Like I said, the most everything is packed. Um, I think more than anything, we just have to split our stuff up again. We packed some things together. Although when we first came here, I did kind of separate some things too. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do today. And that's pretty much it. Um, and then I have a session later tonight, the closing session. I think that's all I have to do for the conference today. I didn't go to the gym today. I think I'm just gonna chill out. I wasn't feeling good when I woke up this morning. Um, I had some like sinus. I don't know if it's just allergies or what, but uh, so I'm gonna kind of lay low today. I did a lot yesterday. I went to the gym in the morning. I went to work and then I went to the gym after work and did like an hour on the step mill which felt amazing um, so I kind of knew I wasn't gonna go today because I was just feeling a little off last night but yeah I'm probably gonna go in the morning so I'll still get a lot of workouts in this week but right now I'm just gonna go ahead and get Z packing and yeah next week is the week and i'm honestly ready i don't like this feeling of like not being settled uh, i feel like i haven't been settled since you know the place that i lived when travis moved in because that place i was very comfortable in i loved that place but yeah whatevs this next place i'm going to decorate i already have a vision of how it's going to be set up i'm going to make this place a home and i'm very very much looking forward to it i was going to make this place a home originally but obviously things didn't work out the way that i thought they would and that's okay the next place that i move i'm really really looking forward to making it a home making it cozy i'm gonna hang curtains i'm gonna do like the full shebang okay it's gonna be so nice and i'm really really excited about that because i just want i want to come home and i want to feel like i'm settled not like this this is just it drives me nuts so yeah so that's that i hope everybody's doing well um thank you guys for all the compliments on my hair on instagram if you don't follow me you should follow me um i just got my hair highlighted actually this week it was monday amy and i just spur of the moment i was like hey you want to put some highlights in my hair do you want your roots done so we swapped i did her hair i did her, i colored her roots and she threw some blonde in because i know people are gonna be like leave your hair alone no i don't want to leave my hair alone i want to be a blonde okay <laughs> so i'm gonna i'm going back to blonde i'm not gonna go quite as light i don't think as i was but i really love this and i love i love being lighter it just i just feel good so that's that it's already three o'clock so I'm gonna go ahead and get going um, and see what I can get in some boxes next week is gonna be a very busy week I think there's so I get the keys on Wednesday and then I move I'm gonna be moving as much stuff as I can by myself on Wednesday Thursday and part of Friday and then um, Jason and some friends hopefully are gonna come and help me move on Saturday and Travis is gonna help too he offered to help so because you know we're on we're on good terms like he's a good guy and um, so he's gonna help and he's actually gonna be moving to a different unit in this uh, apartment complex as well so lots of moving lots of moving you guys I have never met anyone who moves more than me 
<laughs> like seriously and I don't like moving I cannot wait to one day buy a house and just be settled hopefully in the next like three years I'll be able to buy a home of my own and just settle down and stay put so anywho off I go check in with you guys later